Witty moved the badge elsewhere. Funny bomb man. All right, so to get this, what you want to do is go into the city like so, walk over this way, and head towards the train station. You can use the bus stops if you want to teleport faster. However, I'm just going to show you by walking, so then if you can't use it, you're good to go. So this is week three at the train station. Go left, and behind this dumpster is going to be an eye. Step on that eye, and you'll get the witty badge. Z Z Z. PNG and then Morse code Kaka bad All right, so to get this one we want to do is go back to the city and head over here I do suggest using train station or the fast travel go to train station and then turn around and go to week six Head over this way and once you teleport to week six There should be a teleporting pad. That's black right there step on that sending you to the other week six location Head over to the right side, and then there's going to be trees over here on the back side. And on top of one of the trees is going to be a red square. You want to go ahead and get on top of this tree. So this one might be a little difficult for some, but, you know, take your time. There we go. It will teleport you, and once you get in here, you will then get the ZZ. Z P N G somewhere in Nevada. Hey, look a sign passed by to get this go ahead to the city and Head to the left side. We're gonna be going to week four if you don't know where that is then follow along But right over down this way We're gonna be going to the garage or the parking garage where all the cars like to park together Like they have emotions <laughs> like let's all park together everybody what we want to do is go to the very tippity top of this parking garage. So here we go. Just keep going. And there it is. Week four. But we have to go to the very tippity top. Like so. Bump into the limo. And then you will be sent here. Go off to the right side of the limo. And wait for a sign. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Alright. Let's try that again. So what we want to do is get to the edge of the limo. Like so. Alright. And all you have to do is wait for a sign that's going to come down the middle here. You can try jumping into it or do what I do and just stand here really neck close to the edge of the, tr the car. It will then teleport you to somewhere in Nevada. Over here on the left side, there is a mask with a sign in it. And you will then get the badge. It's dangerous to wander in the dark. It's almost as if there's some secret way to get there. And there is. I'm going to show you. What you want to do is head over this way, and you may have noticed that the map teleporting area is changed. It is now in one area, the city. Now make sure you keep moving forward because if you stand too long, it'll teleport you back. But you're going to see the theater, I don't know, or IDK, and you're going to go to the left side. And you know, you can watch some of these great movies. And you're going to see this truck, this white truck right here. I suggest turning run on, which is at the bottom left of your screen. Okay, and then heading over this way onto this platform and then jump on top of this part of the roof You're gonna see a door here walk through it and you will see Zardy's hat bump into it and you will get that badge Friends until the end Tord and to get this once you're in the map go over down the side of the road here and there's gonna be a um, bakery Go around the side over here, and there's going to be an alleyway right here. Once you're in the alleyway, you're going to see a poster here of Ed's World. You want to click it, and you will then get friends until the end. Friendly sparring. Why is your face in front of the camera? Hey, what can I say? I like being in front of the camera. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, so to get this badge, go ahead down this way. Cross the road. Don't get hit by cars. Very good. And you're going to see a basketball court right over there. You might have guessed this is where Hex is. Go ahead into the basketball court. There might be an invisible block in front of you. Um, I don't know. It's very strange. But anyways, go ahead. Climb up this side of the fence. Get on the platform here. Jump over to this one. And make sure your run is on because it makes it a whole lot easier. Anyway, so you're going to see Hex's microphone there. Step on it. And there we go. You got the badge. Arigato. Oh, hey. It's Big Sister. 
Uh oh, big sister. Lol. Uh, so to get this badge, go ahead over this way to the map teleporting area. We'll be going to week five. So excuse me, tricky. Once you're in week five, go over to the right side here, and you're gonna see this open store. Go ahead over to it, hop over the counter, and there's gonna be a microphone. Go ahead, step on that, and arigato is yours. Guns and war. I'm in quite the predicament, Captain. So to get this, we want to do is head over to the map room this way. Oh, bowl! I like bowls. <laughs> and we'll go ahead to week three. So here we go. We'll just, uh, you know, take our turn. We'll wait. We'll wait. There we go. Once you're here, look to your right. And underneath that bench is going to be a pew pew. Click the pew pew. And there you go. You got the badge. How did he get here? Oh, this is bad. So this is the TF2 heavy um ta or tank, the heavy TF2 character. Oh my gosh, I used to play that game all the time. But once you're here in the city, we want to do is go to the right side and run down this side of the road. We're gonna go over here, and once you're right here, take a right turn towards the Daddy Dearest poster or sign. But we're not going past that. If you go past it, you've missed your turn. Go here down this alleyway. It's very spooky, but it's safe. Don't worry. The reason why it's safe is because there's lots of medics here to keep you safe. Bump into this sandwich right here. Uh, or not bump into it. Click it, and you will then get the badge. Hank, despite being confirmed as a playable character in the FNF trailer, we decided to add him anyway. All right, so to get this, go ahead to extras and then to FNF mods map, then go to Nevada side map, and then you want to go is walk through this corridor, all right? And right over here, go to your left on the railroad track. Do not worry, there are no trains that are going to hit you. Not that I know of yet. Over there, you're going to see a mini obby. Go ahead, drop on down, and head up this way. It's not a super hard obby. Once you get here, click on those goggles right there, hang on the spikes, and you'll get Hank. Carol? She's finally in the game. We've been having her for months now. So, to get this badge, go ahead over this way, and we're gonna be going to the city. Now, once you're in the city, go to your right down the road, and we're gonna be going all the way up on top of a building however first we gotta go to the train station right over here and go to the left down this way now next to this dumpster there's gonna be an invisible ladder like right here all right go up it keep going keep going then take a right and you can kind of see there's an, another invisible ladder right there go up that and then we're gonna go up the fire escape okay these are maybe a little difficult for some. It's They're not perfect. You might have to jump a little because you can't just start going up it just from the ground. Eh, come on. There we go. Here we are. We're escaping the fire. Oh, no. Now, once you're up here, right here by the sign, you are going to find a pair of shoes and a microphone. Step on it, and you now got Carol, and you can now fly. Garcello. Roblox, please, we swapped some things. So to get this badge, what you want to do is go ahead over this way to the city, all right? Boom. Now, once you're at the city, go to the left side. And you also have a running uh, button. So down here at the left side of your screen, there's a run button. Anyways, once you do that, come down here, down the road, and go into the alleyway over here. Go onto this dumpster, hop right on over. And then go through the very friendly forest. I'm surprised. You know, I feel like the tree badge will be here one day. Anyways, once you're here, go to the left and go down this alleyway to the very end. And then going around the corner past the Among Us garbage can. Then going around this corner and going to this food stand or whatever, this old place. You can see that orange door. Look to the left, and you're going to find a lollipop. Click on that lollipop. 
It's not a lollipop. But you get the badge. Tabby, this mod man, it's great. And I agree with you. It is a great mod. So to the city, but this time we're going to the left. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. But I am. Because we're actually going to keep going straight. We're going to go right into this blue wall, which will teleport you to the week five location. See, right there, week five. Go ahead, bump into that. It will then teleport you, run down the road, go into your left. And in this parking lot over here, you're going to look for Tabby's skull. So good references. There's a white car there. Next car over, you're looking for this gray car. Where you're going to find the skull there. Let me go on the other side so you can see a little better. See, right there. Click it. And there you go. Lila. Hey, wait. You killed cats? Lila and Spooky Month, unwanted guest. Well, yeah, of course I wouldn't want that person there either. So to get this badge, we want to do is go ahead into the city. Again, I also have permission to show this badge. Once you're in the city, go here to the right and go down the road this way. Then go down the right again, down this way. And we're going to week two. If you don't know where that is, it is going to be at the end of this road over here. The red tunnel or the red wall. Yes, it's a wall of Skittles that I melted and then made into a wall. <laughs> Once you're at week two, look to your left. And then on the side of the um, tunnel, there's going to be a pair of shoes. Click it and you get Lila Corrupt pack this badge give you corrupted boy corrupted girl corrupted skin and pump and corrupted pico Pokemon. so to get this we want to do is go to the city once you do that we're heading over down this way and we're gonna be going to week four all right now do not go into week four we're just going to where the area week four is located which is the parking garage this big area right here so go up into it. I suggest staying on the left side because you will see momentarily. Right over here is a red square. Step on it. And there you go. You got the corrupt pack. Corrupted senpai plus spirit. So this is the end of the world. All right. So to get this, we want to do is go to the city and head over this way to the left side. Once you're here at the intersection, go to the right going past witty's hangout which is over here on your left what we're going to do is go all the way down this way however do not go through the tunnel go right here where you see that red square on the ground that is what we want to step on and we would we we, 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 we we should click on it to get the badge wow i struggle corrupted mom she's scary and meanie eyes oh is that the mission to go to the world of taco palace <gasps> and this taco buffet that's a song i can follow <laughs> all right so go ahead into the city head over here to the left side if you want you can take the tr uh the bus stop and go to the witty map however it is not at the witty hangout area it's gonna be down this way and you can kind of see there's like a red tint like a red color aura glow over here right next to this there's these double doors go ahead bump into it and you will then be sent to this little obby okay now it is relatively easy but because we're talking about me here i i might oof so you know don't laugh at me okay i'm really trying my hardest here <laughs> uh, oh boy uh, can i do this the first time can i do it Blah! All right, this part right here is going to be a little tricky for some. Here, you want to turn on your run, okay? I see I should turn it off just for a little right now. Get close to the edge. There we go. And whoo! Oh, I did it. I did it the first time, first try! And then all you got to do is click on this platform, and you will get the unfamiliar voices. Corrupted Boy, Week 6. Corrupted Game Boy. Now, a lot of you might have this badge already. It is an old badge that has been re-released and out for the public again. I think it's staying forever. So, to get this badge, go ahead to the city. Go over to the train or the bus station. Then go to train station and head to week six. It's right across from the train station. 
But here we go. Go to week six. And once you do that, you... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Once you do that, you're going to head over here to the right side, okay? Now, go over here, and there's going to be an open area right here. Enter it, and then click on this box right there, and you'll get the Corrupted Boy Week 6. Choices matter. It is released. Pride, you are such babies. Alright, so to get this badge, what you want to do is head over into the city map. Once you do that, go to your right and head over this way. Now, once you do that, you're going to go to the left, to the left. Everybody going to the left, to the left. Now, we're not going to go into week 7, okay? But before the week 7, there's going to be an alleyway to your right. And there's going to be a floating microphone. What you want to do is click on that and get teleported down into this mini obby. Now, there's going to be heads coming out from the wall like so. Do not touch those because they will oof you. You just got to wait for them. And then you can then go across. Wait for it to go. I don't trust it. There we go. And once you do, there's going to be all these notes here saying you are such a baby. All you have to do then, though, is click on the I and you'll get the badge. Cappy! She's way out of your league, bro. Mind you, this is coming from a cat. Dude, no one's ever good enough for a cat. <laughs> Anyways, to get this badge, what you wanna do is go ahead into the city, boom, and then go to your left, all right? Now, if you see that big blue square, that is gonna be a tunnel that will take you to weak. Five. So, as you can tell, we're going to be going to week five. Isn't that great? That is where the mall is. So, once you're here, we're going to be going over this way. And if you haven't already, there's actually, I believe, the tabby badge right there underneath that car if you want to go ahead and grab it. However, we are getting the cappy badge, which will be in here, the discount Walmart. Bump into the windows. It will teleport you inside. Then head over here up the stairs. Do, 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 do. Go to the right. Then go to the left. And then the first window or door, whatever you want to call it, go through it. Click on the DDR or the dancing pad there. And you will then get the Cappy badge. You also could have just teleport to the mall, I guess, too. <laughs> Tom. Lame. Tom is not lame, okay? Tom is very special. Alright, so to get Tom, go ahead to the city map. And then once you're there, go to the right side over here. Okay, so once you're heading down this way, you're going to go then down to the right side again. And at this bus stop, there's going to be a secret room. And you're going to be going through a wall. Alright, so it's going to be right somewhere there. So it's going to be right here. Zoom in. Secret area. Whoa. Click on the bowling ball. <laughs> and there you go. You got Tom. Phase 4. The clown always comes back. Reminds me of someone now that I say that. I don't know who that person is, but I hope they don't come back. It scares me when you say that. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead to the city like so. And then go to the bus stop here and go to highway. All right, boom. Once you're here, it'll then teleport you. Once you're there, you're going to want to stand right here in front of this sign. Or this sign, this um, stereo. And there's going to be a sign coming from this direction. And you want to make sure you bump into that sign. So we're just going to go ahead and wait here for it. Here it comes. And boom. Once you bump into it, it will then teleport you to this map. If you're looking at the stereo, off to the right, there is going to be a big rock. Behind that rock is going to be a platform. That will then teleport you to a very nice, happy obby. That's right. Let's go ahead and do this. Careful, though. People can push you off. So just be aware of that. Oh, my gosh. Please stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. But what's great about it, if you die, you respawn back here. So don't worry. It's fine. It's okay. We might cry, though. Honestly, though, I've just noticed that this game really likes their ladders. <laughs> Now, you are going to want to turn off um, running for some parts because it can be a bit tricky. 
using the running. So there we go. And then I'm going to turn my run off for this part. Okay. Now right here, follow where I go. All right. So you want to go to the right, then go to the middle. And then you want to go to the left and then back to the middle. And then go forward, obviously. Go on this ladder. You should be able to just walk forward. This part might be a little tricky because... Oh. All right, so yes, you will bump into this cliff side, just letting you know. So you kind of want to jump to the side of it. Ooh. All right, there we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This is the last part, so just, you know, be aware of that. You will bump your head here, so I suggest kind of going... Oh, there we go. And this should be easy from here on out. I'm going to turn my run on. Ah, there we go. And once you get to the top... You're going to see phase four tricky there. Click on his head and you will then get the badge. Salty Sunday night badge. Funny. Haha. <laughs> Salt. All right. So a lot of you probably remember the badge was in the theater in the concession stand. It's still in the theater. However, it's in a different part of it. All right. So once you're at the theater, go into the entrance and then go to the back room or the backstage. Once you do that, head over to these boxes, and then right in between them is going to be a salt shaker. Click on it, and now you're salty. Cassandra, sissy gals. All right, so to get this one, go back to the city like so. Once you do that, you can go different ways, but I'm going to go here to the left and go to the alley. If you don't know where that is, it's going to be right over here. Going this way, take a left turn here into this alley, and then on the dump, jump over the wall and head through this way. You guys probably know where I'm going, so however you get there, it is up to you. But once you're over here in this alley, get on top of this truck here, then get on this green um, window cover, get onto this ledge, then jump back, and then keep doing that. Hold on. Huh. No, and huh, there we go, then back, and then over there, you're going to see it on the ground. What is that? I don't know what that is. Click on it, though, and you will get the badge. A goatee. Welcome, inmates. It's been a while since I've seen some new ugly faces. All right, so to get this badge, by the way, I do not have an ugly face, but you're going to go to the city. Now, this method, I'm not sure if it's permanent. But if not, then uh, hopefully this uh, stays permanent. Go over here to the bus stop and then go to town. And you're going to be falling from the sky. And you're going to want to move over just a little bit to the left to land on this roof. Head over this way. And then down there, you're going to see grass. You're going to land on it, which will then teleport you to a maze. I know. Amazing. Now, once you're here, go ahead and walk forward all the way. There are other ways of getting to the badge. However, this is the way I like. Now go this way all the way to the end where you take this left turn. All right, so once you go left, then go here. Keep going, keep going. Then take a left turn right here. Then once you're right here, take a right. Then go right again. And then go all the way to the very back here. And then keep walking forward. And there you go. Click on a goatee's mask. And there you are. Bob, you look stupid. All right, everyone. So to get this badge, what you want to do is head over this way to the map or to the city. Go over into your local theater and theaters near you. Go ahead, walk forward into the entrance. Then we're going to go to the backstage right here. And then on the left side, there's going to be a locker here. Bump into it. It will then teleport you to Bob's world. Go behind nature's flowers over here to the right. There's going to be an invisible ladder. You got to bump or little. You got to jump up, climb up to the sun. And then on top of the sun, there is an eyeball. Click on that eyeball. And there you go. Monica. So this is where my character file ended up. All right, so to get this badge, we want to do is go over this way to the map, the city. Once you're at the city, go over here to the bus station and then teleport to train station. Once you're here at train station, go to the game store where week six is at. 
and they've also redone it. Look at how beautiful this place looks now. That's awesome. But once you've finished, or once you're here, go off to the left side of the map and go up this very big ladder, get onto the roof, and then go up this ladder right here. And then on the bench or on the left side of it, there is going to be a pen right there. Click it, and then you should get the badge. If you can't really get a good uh, angle from standing, then sit down and then zoom out. Neo, swaggy glow swag, and feel the beats. Swaggy glow swag. I love that. All right, so to get this, go to the city. And once you do, head over here to the left, heading down the sidewalk. And then we're going to go past the bakery, going down this side of the road, and go into the alleyway here. Now, once you're here, look to your left, and there is going to be a barrel that is going to be in this corner. Behind that barrel is going to be a spray can. Click on that spray can, or tap it, and you'll get the Neo badge. B-Sides. Pretty much a recolored character come with good songs. And that's true, they're really just recolored. Anyways though, to get this badge, go ahead over here into the locker room, go to the left, and then there is going to be an open locker room. Click on that, um, uh, whatever you want to call it, a, a dress. Click on it, and uh, you will then get the badge. Onslaught. New mechanics, new layout, new everything. All right, so to get this badge, what you want to do is head here to the city map. Once you do that, go ahead to your right, and you're going to see these chains. You want to go ahead and bump into it, and then it's going to teleport you to this place. What you want to do is go over here to the right side, and it will then teleport you once you step on this white block. So right here, just got to give it a bit. Boom. Once you're here, you got to do an obby. Yay, we love obbies, don't we, kids? I know, right? Uh, uh. All right, so what you got to do is go ahead and do this. I do. You can use your running mechanic, actually, to really help you out with this. If you don't want to have your run on, that is fine. I'm about to go turn it off right here because I'm afraid I'm going to accidentally run off the edge. There we go. Turn on your run for this. Actually, you don't. <laughs> you just have to do this right here. All right, go ahead, turn around like that. All right, so right here, you want to go left, then right, and then middle. You're very welcome, you two. And then right here, click on the white square, and you will get Onslaught Minus. Cool swagging in another funkin' day, night. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but I do know how to show you where to get the badge, which is going to be over here in the city. So once you're at the city, go ahead to the mansion map. If you don't know where that is, that is week two. It's right by um, passing the train station and the game store. But head over here to under construction, and you're going to see a yellow hat there. Click it, and you will then get the minus badge. Agent Anders. Whoa, some agent man. All right, so to get this, we want to do is go ahead into the city. And head over here to the right and then we're gonna go to the left side here as you can tell we are gonna be going to week seven this agent Anders is a secret agent man he's a man of many mysteries and an international womanizer anyways go to week seven once you're here you go see a cave to your left Franks head over to the back side of the cave all right and once you do, you're going to see a pew pew on the floor, a gun, and you're going to go ahead, step on it, I mean, click on it, I don't know why I say step on it, and there you go, you got the agent. TBBI, let's do a little bit of trolling. Trollolololol. To get this, we want to do is go ahead into the city. You can go to the right or left, but what you want to do is go ahead to the alley, alright? So if you know where the alleyway is... That is great. You might know also there are multiple ways of getting into the alleyway. So, you know, it, it's up to you completely. Wow, I almost got my shortcut there. <laughs> but this is one of the ways you can do. You can go this way or you can go the other way, which is going past the bakery and, and all that. But once you're here in the alleyway, there is going to be a door over here that has closed. It's not closed. Go ahead, bump into it. And then you're going to see this obby. 
Literally go over here to the left, walk across like so, and then go across this, and then go over here, and that is what you want to click on. Don't go above. Go right here. Click on that green square, and there we go. You got the troll badge. This whole area is a troll. Cheeky! Want a rap battle? I heard you're really good at that. All right, so to get this, we want you is go ahead into the city map. All right, once you get into the map, go over here to the left side, okay? Once you're over here, go to the right, heading towards Witty's hangout. Now, we're not going to go into his hangout area because we have to get the badge first. Then we can go hang out with Witty. But if you keep going down this way, there's going to be a door on your left that is pink. You might recognize this place. However, we do not have to go to the obby. All we have to do is simply go ahead and click on the cheeky face here. And you will then get the cheeky badge. Hooray! Amori! Edgelord Child. And to get this one, we want to do is actually go to Extras, which is over here to the left side. And once you do, go to FNF Mods Map, then go to the White Space Map, okay? Once you do that, right over here behind the door is going to be a red hand. Click on that red hand, and you'll then get the badge. Tormentor, can you handle this? I'm sure I can. Can you? Head over to Extras, where the FNF Mods map are located. We're then going to the Boys Mind map. I don't know what I'm going to find in here. But once you're in here, turn to your right, and you're going to see a microphone right here in the corner. Now, you may not be able to do it like this. So what you want to do is go to the back side like so. Hold down E, and then you will then get the badge Tormentor. Et to lead. Why not answer this? Who the heck are you? Joe Mama. <laughs> Sorry. All right, what you want to do is go ahead to the city map. Once you're here, take a left turn and then go take another left turn. And then, that's right, we're taking another left turn into the alleyway, jump on the dumpster, and then head down this way. So, once you're here at the trees, just go to the very back side of this area. So, to the very back wall, to this point, where you take another left, and then another left, and you're going to see the Wii console right there, melted Wii. <laughs> Hold down E, and there you go. You get Etelad.